same be, be, because we're looking all around and, and we survey and ooh, that was good, Bishop Ellis. Amen. Some, some, sometimes you can't hear what God is saying because you're so busy looking. Amen. Wanting this, desiring that, hoping that don't leave, hoping that don't walk out. Amen. Let me tell you something. You get this one together. Amen. Everybody that walks out on you need to be gone. I'm trying to help somebody up in here. Amen. You will find out that you're stronger than you think you are. The reason that you are not strong and you fall out and amen and you almost lose your sanity and, 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 and uh, mental equilibrium is because, amen, you are not giving God what you're giving other people. Once you give God what you give other people, now you will find out that other people, while you appreciate them, while you love them, while you, amen, celebrate them in their proper place, they never get to that place where they mean everything to you. Tell a neighbor, only God should mean everything to me. In other words, I can live without anybody, but I cannot live without God. <laughs> Hallelujah, Bishop Ellis. Hey man, I, I, I know folk, you know, I know, you know, folk, you know, when they lose a loved one, you know, a spouse, a husband, a wife, you know, oh, baby. I ain't never gonna get married again. And they look, we be crying all over the cash, go, oh, darling. Oh, baby, you's a mean the world to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're gonna get married in about six months. <laughs> Y'all better hear what I'm saying up in here. Hey, Amen. I don't care how they cutting up at the grave. Oh, let me go. Let me go. Let him go. <laughs> Who let me go? <laughs> You can never let anybody get in that place that is only. Did I say only? only. Then y'all say it. Say only. only. That is only reserved for the Lord. I, I mean, there's there some places that Jesus got to be that other people can't get to. There's some places that Jesus has to be that other people can't even find. I hope I'm helping somebody on today. Tell a neighbor, close your eyes sometime. You'll be surprised what you can see when you close your eyes. That's a sermon, Reverend. Don't, don't, don't preach that. Amen. Amen. I closed my eyes and saw better than I ever seen in my life. Amen. I don't want to see you preaching that. Man. We have to be led by the Spirit. Amen. Led by the Spirit. Somebody say, got to be led by the Spirit. Got to be led by the Spirit. Amen. How, how many folk are being led by other folk? I mean, I mean, how many people are being dictated to by other folk? Amen. When you look back over your life, everything you done, did or have done meaningful was something that somebody else pushed you to do. And let's be clear, a whole lot of folk are out operating in areas and offices that God is not blessing because God has not called you. God has not assigned you to that area. Why am I there, Bishop? Because somebody influenced you. Because somebody pushed you in that area. I want to be led by the Spirit of God. Even though sometimes the Spirit may lead me into the wilderness. Remember we talked last week, Jesus, after he was baptized in the River Jordan by John the Baptist. John was not boot bootleg. He was not a jackleg. John was sent by God as the forerunner to prepare the way of the Lord. Jesus baptized by him. The heavens opened up. They ain't opened up when nobody else got baptized. And thousands of people were baptized of John. But when Jesus was baptized, the heavens opened up. And the Holy Spirit descended, the Bible says, in the bodily form of a dove. And a voice cried out of heaven, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You would have thought it was coronation time. You, you would have thought it was time to conquer everything. And after that, the spirit, not the spirit of the devil, the spirit of God leads him out into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Let me tell you something. You got to have so much trust and so much faith in God 
until however he leads you, you are willing to follow. Wherever he leads you, you've got to believe that God is somebody shout able to bring you through. He's tempted by the enemy. 40 days he fasted. 40 nights he fasted in a weakened state. At 40 days and 40 nights, you are so weak, you will give up and you will concede to anything. Amen. Come on, somebody. Esau didn't fast. Es Esau was just hungry for half a day and sold everything that he had had through birth. Come on, somebody. A half a day he didn't eat and he was so famished until he sold out everything that was given to him at birth. Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights and came out of that stronger than ever before because once he passed the first test and once he passed the second test and once he passed the third test, the devil, the Bible says, leaveth him for a season. But watch this. God didn't leave him down there in his weakened state. God didn't leave him in his barren state, but God told the angels, go on down there and replenish his strength. Go on down there and nourish him. And you've got to know that when God leads you into the midst of a test, amen, it is only a test. It's your job to pass the test and God will send his angels to renew your strength. So we need to be led by the spirit. We must follow the principles that are taught in the word of God. Go to 1 Thessalonians 11 and 12. Amen. When you have it, do you have it? Amen. 11 I'm sorry, First Thessalonians 4. I'm sorry, thank you. See y'all laughing at me. <laughs> Quietly laughing at me. All right, First Thessalonians chap chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. You have it? Good, read. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life and to what? Do your own business. Tell a neighbor, mind your business. Mind your business. And mind, mind, mind your business. Go ahead. And to work with your own hands as we commanded you that you what? That you may walk honestly to those that are without and that you may have lack, lack of nothing. So he's telling us that we ought to endeavor to study to be quiet. He's not saying you can't talk, but he's just saying don't be a busybody. Don't, don't, don't always be, we, we don't have to hear you before you come. Amen. Before you hit the sanctuary, we hear you out in vision hall. <laughs> study to be quiet and mind your own business and do the work with your own hands that God has assigned you. This really ought to be one of my favorite scriptures because I'm always the one, uh, Victor, that, 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 that tells my staff here, that tells my staff on the national level, PAW, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. We just got done with a convention 